Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw a domino piece. So um, a domino piece you can just type into Google a domino piece dimension and it will give you the dimensions of a domino piece. So the one I'm going to draw is um, going to be just the first one I saw that had dimensions on it as well. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is type in L enter to go into my line command and then I'm going to draw a line straight down at 24 millimeters as specified on the picture that I found on the internet. Then I'm going to kind of come across with 12.75 because that's also the dimension on there. And I'm going to use that top one as a perpendicular point and just snap to the last point. So this is the basic form of what we want uh, in a domino piece. So the next step is to just curve the, the corners and we're going to do that with the fillet command. So you can come up to the command, the modify command panel and click on fillet or alternatively you can type in F and enter. So the first thing you want to do with the fillet command, as you can see on the command line, is you want to uh, specify the radius you want to use. So I'm going to type in R to go into the radius part, enter. Then I'm going to draw the size I want. So it looks like one millimeter will be big enough. The radius of one millimeter will be exactly what I want. So I'm just going to click on every corner. So alternatively, to go into fillet multiple, you just type in if enter and hit M to go into multiple so you don't have to enter the command every time you want to use the fillet command. And for instance, I had to go into the command four times now. Um, instead, it would have been easier to go into the multiple selection of the fillet command and use it like that instead of going in every time. So this is a basic um, size of the domino I want. So the next step is going to be to to divide it into two pieces and just use the center point indicators to go into there. And the biggest number on a domino is usually six dots. So I'm going to divide this again and then divide that, divide that line into the middle again. And lastly, I'm going to start to draw my circles that I want to use. So I wanted to get the center point of that side. So I go to C, enter. And draw a circle. And copy that down to the center line that I've already drawn. Select that top one, going to modify, mirror, and mirror it down. So now you can use the same mirror command to mirror it to the other side. And there you have your six dots. So you can leave this center line in because I know some dominoes have a center line shown there as well. Or you can remove it. It's all up to you. And I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to hit undo enter. Then I'm just going to Just select that again. So I'm going to copy it. Just make a small adjustment and mirror that on that center line. Now I have a thicker line that I'm going to be, you're going to see it shown in the 3D when we convert this to 3D. So I'm going to use this again, these six dots. I'm going to mirror it to the other side. So there you have a completed domino. So from here on in, you can just delete all the dots you want, or you can leave it as is. It depends on the amount of dots you want to leave on your domino piece. So I'm going to leave it 6, 6 as shown. So the next step is to convert this to 3D. Now the thing is, the domino has a solid bottom part, and these dots are just basically cutouts as well as this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this over to the side 
and select everything then hit C O enter and copy it over I'm going to delete everything inside now I'm going into my 3d view so I'm going to hold down shift the mouse wheel and just drag to the side to go into a 3d view I'm going to use my press pull command and just extrude this six millimeters because that's the size indicated on the picture that I've got on the internet so the next step is to make the cutouts for this piece so this is one solid piece if I go into my realistic view you can see this is a solid piece and this not yet so I have to make the pieces that I want to cut out of this domino so I'm going to go back to my 2d view and I'm going to make these dots circles so I'll go into my um, modeling command or my modeling tab I'm going to select a sphere and just draw a sphere on each dot alternatively you can use the mirror command to make this quicker so I'm going to use copy select those three dots C O enter Copy it over to the other side, copy it there and there. So to make this cut out in the middle, I'm going to use um, a cylinder. So to start with your cylinder, you're going to need a center point. So I'm going to use that as my center point, that as the radius and just pull it up as far as I need it. Next step is to rotate this. So that it lies flat on the surface. And as you can see, it's not long enough. And because I haven't cut or anything done anything to the cylinder, I can just select it and pull it a bit longer. So the next step is to copy this to my domino, the solid domino that I have. I select everything I want to move over to the face of the domino. And you should watch out to not select the 2D objects um, behind the 3D objects. So I'm going to move this over. I'm going to use that center point and paste it there. So as you can see now there's objects on top of my 3D object and I want to remove these objects. I want to leave just their impression on my domino piece. So to do that we're going to use solid subtract. So you click on the command, you click on what you want to leave behind and then you click on what you want to remove. And as you can see it's just left the indentations of those objects that I've made. So the last part that I want to do is just smooth over these edges and then I think the domino is complete. So to do that you go into your solid tab and to fillet edges. Then you select your edges to make sure that your radius as you've seen indicated here is what you wanted. So I'm just going to leave it as the um, one that it was already on and as you can see you're just selecting the lines and it does the rest for you. So let's just start with the top, see if it's what we want. And as you can see, those edges are just as I wanted it. So if you want to see it better, you can go to Home tab, go into your realistic view. Oh, I didn't select keep the changes. So let's just quickly do it again now that it's in solid or realistic view. So I'm just selecting the line. I right click to preview it and then right click to keep the changes. So as you can see it's making like um, a corner that doesn't look too good. So I'm just going to undo that fillet. Just select it again. I'm going to change the radius to 0 0.5 and see if it looks better so 
and as you can see that looks much better so now i can use that same radi radius of the fillet edge and just do the bottom as well so hold down the shift key the mouse wheel and just rotate it to the bottom so you can see what you're doing and right click to preview and double uh, right click again to accept so as you can see that's a quite a good looking domino and um, i hope this video helped you i hope you saw some stuff that you didn't know before so thank you so much for watching Bye-bye.